have Scorpio. It's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Scorpio, this is going to be behind the scenes on your person, all right? Whoever they are, whoever that lucky person is. And let's see. Let's get into the reading right now. And I'm going to pull a couple cards from the Love Oracle cards, and then we'll get straight away into the reading, all right? Just trying to separate these cards here. <laughs> Let's see what we have, and these have been shuffled from the Love Oracle deck. And right now, your person, let's see where they're at. Clock, need time, they need time, takes time, cycles. There's something here that has to do with time, time to heal. Maybe they need time to heal, possibility. This could just talk about cycles in general. The dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out, wow. Things coming to light, adapt, changing, and healing. Something is coming to light. Wow. Let's get one more card for them. The date card, meeting somebody new, dating, getting back out there, and setting a date. I feel like something's coming to light. Your person could be, uh, maybe, I'm not sure, it could be you or them, but this is really their reading. I feel like they're dating somebody, somebody new. Yeah, and I feel like something's coming to light with the dragonfly. Wow. Right now, their energy, let's go ahead and cut the cards for them. They could be a Virgo. <laughs> the Virgo card was like right there. Yeah. Turn the other way. Bottom of the deck, nine of swords. They're, they're worried about something, Scorpio. Yes, they are. Their energy right now is the Hermit card. Interesting how that came out. And the Five of Wands. Your person could probably be a Virgo. And they could be dealing with some strife or some challenges here. Seven of Cups in the reverse. For me, this is like no longer being confused. Sometimes it is ending options. In the recent past, they were holding on to somebody or something. What's on their mind is some, a heavy load, some type of burden. They have challenges here. In the near future, the chariot. Okay. And we're going to put the outcome right there because we're going to do that one on Vimeo. So let's have a look at your person. And this is their concerns. They're trying to figure something out, right, with the Four of Swords. It could be recovery. Sometimes this is like healing and recovering. Taking a break. They have the clock. It says time to heal. Mm -hmm. Now they have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This could talk about... You could be dealing with somebody who's trying to see clarity and they're having a really hard time. Ace of Swords. <coughs> Or this could be a lack of victory sometimes, and it can be a lie. Why is it Ace of Swords there? Yeah, it could be lies, the Ace of Swords in the reverse, yeah. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles. Wow. Why do they have the Five of Wands? We're going to go back to that. Why do, we, why do they have the Five of Wands, the Queen, the Queen of Wands for them? Your person could be a Virgo or a Fire Sign. Here you are, Scorpio, showing up in their energy, in, <coughs> in their environment. Mm -hmm. So, to me, your person is, I feel like they could be wanting to have victory here. And this is in the reverse because they, they haven't done this yet. I feel like they're planning on meeting up with somebody. Yeah, I do, with this card, the date card. Yep. And something could be coming to light, Scorpio, with you and your person. I feel like they're in some type of a third party here with some Queen of Wands. Maybe they are the Queen of Wands, or they're in a third party with a Virgo. Mm-hmm. There's a Pisces maybe in this reading. And the Seven of Cups is in the reverse. Why is it there? This is in their root or why it's all happening. The High Priestess, this is probably you. It could be a secret, though. Let's see. I feel like they had secrets before. 
I feel like they have a secret you could even know about it that they've been holding on to, the Four of Pentacles. So in the root, they're no longer confused. Yeah, it's a possibility that they want to have victory and they want to flip this in the upright. They want success, the Ace of Swords. Why do they have the High Priestess? The King of Cups. So this is them showing up. This is in the root for them. This is you, the King of Cups, most likely. This could be a secret, though, that they are no longer confused. Uh, they could have been trying to make a hard choice in the past. I feel like that's what it is. <laughs> You see how I peeked at that? I peeked at the outcome. You see that? <laughs> Let's see. Why is that King of Cups? Let's look over here, though. Let's look at the recent past. They were holding on to somebody. Why is that Four of Pentacles there? Why is that Four of Pentacles there? Five of Cups. In the past, they were, you know, they could have been trying to hold on to somebody and there was a, a sad ending for them. Maybe somebody let them go because they knew about you. Queen of Swords. So, for me, in the past, your person was trying to, like, discern a situation, right? This could have been you in the past, maybe kind of busting their chops, Scorpio, about them holding on to somebody. But in the past, it looks like there was some grieving or a pain, like a sad ending. But somebody was discerning it. They were. So in the past, they were trying to figure out if they were going to hold on to somebody or have a sad ending with you. I feel like that's what it is. And the Ten of Wands is a burden they carry. The Ten of Wands is... Why is that there? with the Two of Swords. They're carrying some heavy weight, heavy load. Nine of Cups, this is what's on their mind. I feel like they just feel conflicted. It's possible they don't know what to do, but I don't think so with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. It's typically not being confused anymore. I feel like in the past they could have been. And in the near future for them is the chariot. Why do they have the chariot? Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. This is in the near future for them. They're, they're done waiting. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This is like over here you're trying to figure the situation out. This is them trying to figure it out. This lady's looking at her bush, thinking, you know, what am I going to reap here? Let me figure things out for myself. I feel like it's in the reverse. About having, excuse me, about having victory and weighing the scales here. Six of Pentacles. Like, this could be a third party, but having balance with somebody. Wow. Could be a Cancerian in the reading. And the Four of Swords is their concern, their emotional concerns. Three of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This is their concerns, right? They're trying to have a new beginning with somebody, who's somebody who's a third party to them. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, this could be a breakup, but I feel like this is what they want, and they're meditating on it, on like a reconciliation with somebody. And this is why they have the date card, planning, setting a date, getting back out there, 
and something's coming to light. Yeah, they're trying to date somebody from their past. That's what they're trying to do here. Why do they have the Queen of Cups? This is you in their environment. Ace of Cups. Eight of Cups. Look at that. Wow, this is in their environment. They have a brand new opportunity for a brand new beginning in love, and they're leaving as well. So for some of you guys, they could be leaving somebody else, right? They could be. They could be walking away from somebody else. But this getting back out there in the date card. So somebody's, they're either, your person is leaving somebody to date you or they're leaving you to date somebody else. Somebody who is, somebody they know. Yeah, this is like somebody they've been holding on to that they were trying to figure out if they were going to hold on to that person. In the past, they were uh, discerning a matter where they were going to hold on to somebody and have a painful ending, have like a, a sad ending here. This is an ending, the Five of Cups. They were trying to figure it out in the past. I feel like they're clear on it now. And in their desire is the hangman. Why do they want the hangman? Why do they desire the hangman? Knight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Wow, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I feel like your person is a Virgo. First card out. This could talk about sacrificing something, possibly. The hangman. But it can talk about enlightenment. It can talk about feeling stuck. Why is that King of Pentacles there? Why is that there? Like feeling uh, between two worlds sometimes. Like feeling stuck, like in limbo. Eight of Wands. <clears throat> I feel like they want change. Yeah, the Eight of Wands is fast movement. Maybe you're dealing with the Pisces. Why do they have the Eight of Wands? I feel like they're trying to enlighten themselves. Yeah, they probably maybe they're still trying to enlighten themselves. Maybe. Because this Ace of Swords is in the reverse. In the upright is a mental breakthrough. Like, wow, I know. But the Seven of Cups over here. Oh, yes, I get it. Okay. For some of you guys, your person is, uh, they have yet to make this hard choice, but that's what they are doing. Yeah, they're trying to gain clarity here. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, about some third party. Mm-hmm. In the past, they were trying to figure out if they were going to hold on or have some pain, uh, sad ending. What's on their mind is a burden, something they really want. This Nine of Cups. And this can talk about over here, in their overall energy, this could be saying they're, just, they're, they, they're going to have victory, but they're, it's, they haven't done it yet. Remember, this is planning a date, like not yet. I feel like they're trying to have victory here, and it's in the reverse because they haven't done it yet. This could be saying they're making a hard choice. They're going to. Yeah, like they know what they're going to do and they haven't done it yet. I feel like that's the, that's the I, yeah, I feel like that's what it is. Because in the past they were trying to figure it out. I feel like they feel conflicted about it and it's a burden. This is true. Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, Nine of Cups. This is somebody who uh, just feels conflicted about it. It doesn't have to be somebody who doesn't know what to do. I feel like they already, I feel like they know now and in the past they didn't know. Wow, Scorpio, you're dealing with somebody who is maybe suspect, right? Yeah. And this Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, it usually means somebody's already figured things out. They're not waiting anymore to have victory here. And in their concerns... It could be, they could just be thinking about this. The Four of Swords doesn't always have to be, I need to, like, figure things out. It could be just kind of chilling. 
Because in this card it says time to heal too. Take time to heal. Something like that. Cycles. And this person, Four of Swords, can be taking a time out. This guy's meditating. He's doing some yoga here. He's taking a time out. Yoga is the ultimate take a time out. The ultimate. You're not supposed to really pay attention to anything. You're just supposed to kind of chill out. And in their environment is leaving. You could be leaving them. Scorpio. So you're leaving them because they have a new beginning with somebody or, the, or they're leaving you. Right? And in their desire position, what do they want? The Eight of Wands. I feel like they just feel stuck and they want change. Why do they want that Eight of Wands? They feel stuck because they've been thinking about this for a long time. That's what it is. And they're like, I'm done with this. The tower. This could mean they want an ending. Ten of Swords. Yeah, they definitely want an ending. So I'm going to go over to Vimeo, Scorpio. Yeah, and we're going to talk about your, uh, your person is not so easy, right? We're going to have the outcome, the current dynamic, how they really feel, their desires, their fears, and what is unknown to you about them all on Vimeo. They're super affordable, you guys, if you want to cross-watch. Thanks so much for watching. God bless. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And yes, thank you so much.